Good evening. I hope this finds you well and safe. Sorry not to be with you this evening, as normally this time of year I would be attending the Methodist Diaconal Convocation. Instead I'm here attending it virtually in my loft office at home. Things will return to normal on Monday, so I pray you will enjoy tonight's reflection. We come together for our time of reflections. And for our next few evenings together, we will reflect upon some of the Psalms. Let us then take time to relax in God's presence. To reflect upon the day, its challenges and its joys. To acknowledge and give thanks for his presence throughout the day and to seek him now in the quietness of the evening. We come in prayer. Lord, we come. Here we are and you are here. You are here and you have called us to spend time with you. Here we are, and you are worthy. You are here, and you have called us to be still and quiet before you. Here we are, and you are to be praised. Amen. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. I wish to share with you a meditation entitled, So That's What I'm Worth. So I'm valuable. Am I valuable to you, God? Great artists sometimes throw their sketches away. They produce them in great quantities in order to arrive at the masterpiece. Are we human beings expendable in your creation? Will you screw us up into balls of pain and toss us into your studio scrap heap while you pursue your grand designs? Or are we important to you? Do you love us? You have given us a capacity to love and be loved. Reason suggests that what is in us must also be in you. In us, tiny shreds. In you, in full abundance. Is reason right? Is there a language, Lord, by which you can speak to us, your great person to us, small ones? The Bible says that you have spoken to us in Jesus Christ that you spoke in different ways at different times, but eventually you spoke with full authority in and through Jesus Christ. Can this be true? Am I valuable to you, God?
So much has been going on around us during our time of lockdown. And I'm sure that sometimes things have got a little too much for us to bear. And all of us in different ways have just needed someone to turn to, have a conversation, for just words of comfort and for just understanding how we feel. I believe that whatever age we are, or whatever our status, whether we're married, single, widowed, elderly, young, I believe this evening's psalm is for us. God is keeping an eye on us from afar. He is affectionately concerned with us for us, who we are and what we will do. You knew me even before I was born. You knit me together in my mother's womb. It's such a great and amazing psalm. A psalm which speaks of knowing us intimately. And the knowledge of that can be perhaps a little scary. Someone knowing us that intimately I'm sure we'd want to just run away from such a thought. Most of us would want to have the kind of relationship where we are loved for who we are and accepted for who we are. But sometimes it's not always the case. Sometimes it can just be a mixture of what people think we are. We can be quite good at presenting our best side but the psalm tells us that God knows everything. He knows when we sit and when we rise. He knows our actions and words before we know it ourselves. Wherever we go, whatever we do, whatever our panic, we cannot escape from God. He's the creator of all and is ever present. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. In the depths of life, you are there, O oh God. This psalm tells us not to be afraid, no matter how we feel. This wonderful psalm is about us being known and loved completely. That in all our ups and downs and joys in life, there is nowhere that we can be that is out of the reach of God's loving arms. He wishes to protect us, to uphold us. He wants that love to make a real difference to us and in our lives. And for each of us to accept the certainty of what that love can do in us and for others. These words from this psalm gives great reassurance to have him with you always even if you do not know him as your loving father. Be assured he knows you and cares for you as he does me. I love this psalm because it draws together comfort and strength. It helps us to be able to go onwards trusting in God's love, whatever is thrown at us. I may be an adult, but to know that God's right hand holds me fast provides a depth of security that I need. I know I'm not a bit ashamed to admit it. Loving God, 
in all the changes and chances of our lives, all the many uncertainties we face. We thank you that you are a God we can depend on, always good, always loving, always merciful and always faithful. God of love, for, for the, the knowledge, knowledge that you are, are always with us, us we, we praise, praise you. you. We thank you for the assurance that whatever we may be confronted with, your love will go on reaching out, your hand go on supporting, and your purpose go on being fulfilled. God of love, for the, for the knowledge, knowledge that, that you, you are always, always with us, us we, we praise, praise you. you. Help us to truly believe that not just in our minds but that in our hearts, to put our trust wholly in you, confident that you will never fail us. God of love, for the knowledge, knowledge that, that you are always, always with, with us, we, we praise, praise you. you. This night, O oh Lord, we hold before you men and women who have died in active service, particularly in the Second World War, whose sacrifice brought victory in Europe. As we honour their courage and cherish their memory, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope. God of love, for the, the knowledge, knowledge that you are always with us, we, we praise you. Strengthen those who serve you today. Support them in times of conflict. Give them courage and loyalty. And grant that in all things they may serve you to the best they can. God of love, for, for the, the knowledge, knowledge that, that you are always, always with us, we praise you. Amen. Amen.